Yo, what is up guys, the Mules back with a brand new video, and we're back on some more Fortnite. I realized a mistake that I've actually been making in these Fortnite videos. I realized that previously I was placing my face cam over there, basically where I'm putting it right now, and I realized that that's probably not a good idea because it's actually covering the minimap, and while the minimap doesn't really give that much information in this game, or maybe I'm completely underestimating how important the minimap is, I don't find the minimap that useful in this game, but whatever, I don't want to cover it up from my video, so I'm actually going to keep my face cam where you see it right now, just because that's where every other YouTuber slash streamer keeps their face cam, and I kind of realized that I was making that mistake a lot. But yes, we are in Fortnite again for the I don't know how many times in a row now, and as you can see by the title of this video, in today's video, we're going to be talking about Am I Quitting Call of Duty? Because I'm going to be honest with you guys, I haven't touched Call of Duty in almost a full week now. So let's actually answer the question right now. Am I quitting Call of Duty? And I'm going to give you guys an answer straight up. No, I am not quitting Call of Duty. If you guys are wondering what I'm doing with Call of Duty right now, I just I haven't really playing it that much. But am I quitting it? No, I'm not quitting it. I'm just sort of taking a break. And I also want to clear up a question that some of you guys might be asking. Am I getting bored of Call of Duty World War 2? And I don't want to lie to you guys. Yeah, I actually am getting very, very bored of that game. Do I think the game is bad? No, I don't think the game is bad whatsoever. There's only one little issue I have with that game is that they don't update the game. Like, there's not much new. I mean, yeah, they've had some events and stuff like that, but they haven't added a new sniper yet. Until they add a new sniper to that game, I can't really see myself really, really getting hooked onto it. When they add a new sniper to the game, you know that I'm going to be playing that game more often. And I still do touch Call of Duty World War 2 once in a while. I haven't touched it in almost a week, as I said before. Because Call of Duty is my roots. It's not something that I can just quit all of a sudden I definitely don't see myself quitting Call of Duty full-time I see myself taking breaks from it here and there Which I am definitely taking a break from Call of Duty World War 2 right now But quitting it as a whole and never playing it again not with Black Ops 4 around the corner Well, we don't know if it's actually Black Ops 4 But people are presuming that it's Call of Duty Black Ops 4 and whatever the next Call of Duty is It's made by Treyarch. So fuck no, I'm not going to quit dude We have that right around the corner I'm just taking a small little break and you'll notice that a lot of Call of Duty youtubers are actually actually doing that right now, they're just taking a break. They're not quitting the game, they're just simply not playing it right now. Which personally, I don't see a huge problem because I really fucking love this game. This is one of the greatest games I've ever played in my entire life, as I've said before in other videos. When it comes to Call of Duty World War 2, my biggest issues I have with the game are the colors and the fact that they just don't update the game enough. The game is incredible and they had so much potential at launch, but they didn't update the game enough. A few events here and there isn't going to keep a game alive. And also, they recently nerfed the snipers on that game as well, which I'm not happy about. I heard that it's not really the biggest deal in the world, but still, it's not really that great. Call of Duty should seriously look at other game developers and other games that are just doing extremely well and try and learn from them. Look at Fortnite as an example. They update this game, they add things to it like every single week. Whether that would be new skins for your characters, new weapons once in a while and stuff like that. Like, they keep this game fresh and they keep it so that it's not boring. Also, another thing that I find a huge problem with Call of Duty World War 2 is the map rotation. There are not enough maps in that game. Call of Duty World War 2 has had its first deal. DLC already, and other Call of Duty games without DLC have had more maps. That just doesn't make sense whatsoever. I don't understand why they decided to do that. I just realized that I landed Tilted Towers, and for some reason, I already have five kills, and I'm not even focusing that hard in the game. What the fuck is going on right now? I honestly just think I'm the greatest Fortnite player alive. But back onto the topic of Call of Duty World War 2, I think its biggest flaw right now is that it's stale. They need to add something new to the game, whether it would be maps. I honestly personally think that they should add free maps to the game. I don't care if you have to remake maps, I don't care what you have to do, but the game is not fresh. It needs something new to keep people around, because right now, it's not keeping me around. When you look at a game like Fortnite that is constantly adding new things, and really, really being successful with it, I don't understand why Call of Duty just can't do the same. But to sum up my current situation with World War 2, I'm just extremely bored of it. I can't see myself playing the game for so long, because I just, it gets really, really stale really quick. Alright, we got six kills on the board. We're actually doing so fucking well for me not focusing. I don't even have my second ear phone in right now, so I'm not even sound horrid people. I'm just playing and I'm doing really well for some reason. Honestly, from now on, I should just play without sound whatsoever because clearly I do better. But seeing as I'm doing so well right now without any sound, I should probably put in my second earphone, actually focus on the game, and perhaps we can actually achieve a win in this video or something. Okay, we need to pop this med kit and then we need to fucking run because the zone is about to close in on us. Okay, okay, run, run, run. Oh, I just remember I have a launch pad. Oh boy, here we go. I normally don't use launch pads, but I don't know, maybe, maybe something will work here. Whee! 
now I see absolutely no point in us popping that med kit because we just went down in health again and I'm gonna have to use one of these bandages to gain two health, baby. So far, this lobby just seems easy. It's like people have no thumbs. They're just, they don't know what they're doing. Of course, once it comes to the top five, they're probably just gonna be complete freaks and really fucking good at the game. If I die, I die. If I win, I win. I honestly couldn't give a shit at this point. All I wanna do is just push some people. If I see people in a base, I ain't gonna be no pussy. I'm gonna push that motherfucker. There's another kill. Wait. Dude, I was shooting right at him. What the fuck happened there? Don't even know why I avoid Call of Duty. The hit detection on here is the exact same. Anyway, on to other news. Let's talk about Sane. Since I made yesterday's video where I basically announced that Sane is coming back and stuff like that, I've had people ask me, like, will you guys be picking up, like, content creators and editors and all this stuff? And while I'm sure that at some point we will be looking for people like that, don't really ask me, like, if you really want a sure answer for something like that, you should definitely tweet at Royalty or just hit him up in the DMs or something like that because I really have no power when it comes to recruiting people. Maybe at some point, if I I can help the team I'll become a co-leader or something like that but right now I have no power so there's no real point in asking me if they're going to be picking up editors and stuff like that Sane are always looking for editors to edit like projects and montages and stuff like that but when it comes to recruiting don't talk to me about it you really just got to talk to royalty me I'm just a content creator I have absolutely no power just kidding all youtubers are gods and we have all the power Okay, never mind. We're just gonna get fucking killed off the start, dude. I didn't even hear that guy. Anyway, I'm gonna end the video off here. I'm sorry if this video was very short. It's just I kind of wanted to talk a little bit about Call of Duty and where my mind is right now with that, but... Honestly, I didn't have that much to talk about. So I really do apologize if this video is short. I'll try to make tomorrow's video much longer. I might bring Kevin back or something like that. I'll try and make a video with somebody tomorrow because I know that you guys love Kevin more than you love me at this point, which is... Honestly, I don't blame you. Who the fuck could love me? But anyway, guys, I'm gonna wrap it up here. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much the end of the video. I'll have my last one run up across the screen. If you haven't checked that out already, definitely make sure to check it out. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks very much for watching. Peace out.